Well, thank you so much once again to you, Sam. Let me remind you, it was on the 12th of May 2015 that uh, a woman referred to by Utatu Nelson Mandela as an outstanding daughter of South Africa, Omama Uruth Mumpadi, passed away. She died at the Two Military Hospital in Cape Town at the age of 89. And since then, officials from the ANC and also from government have been hard at work putting together an official Category 1 special state funeral. Um, the session, what we're seeing at the moment, because I'm sure you're going to see people walk past me and know time. Uh, this part of the funeral procession that began here uh, at about half past six this morning at the church is now coming to an end. People are about to leave. The cortege is going to make its way to a special uh, a sports ground, a show ground uh, where a dome has been erected there. President Jacob Zuma uh, expected to give uh, that keynote address. He has been speaking, as have a number of other officials on the sideline on the importance of Umama Uruth to the liberation history of South Africa. And one such person who I know can attest to that is the Minister of Defence, Mama, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Ayanda. Good morning to the viewers. I know you were uh, part of the team that were organising, albeit from a distance. You had an official state visit and also your budget. But as far as the process has gone, just deliberating with your colleagues, how has it been thus far? I think it has gone very well. If you observed what was happening last night, for instance, the processes in the evening, the arrival of Mama Ruth, uh, the viewing of the body at, at the mortuary at Doves between 7 and 8 by the leadership of the African and the veterans of the African National Congress, her arrival at midnight, the service at the house, albeit very short, and again this morning, and even the proceedings inside the church. You can tell that we have not had difficulties of organizing. The team was led by our Deputy Secretary General of the ANC, uh, Madam JC Duwade, I think, and Tandi Mudise, of course, who was based this site here in, uh, in Freiburg. I think they've done an excellent job. We are quite happy, we are satisfied. I think it wasn't difficult precisely because we are burying a very organized lady, very beautiful woman who organized and arranged all her things in good time. So it was easy for all of us to just take from where, to just listen to her instructions and just carry them out. Mm. Just speaking to one or two of the mourners here present, there was a myriad of emotions that came through, some of celebration and jubilation of the life well lived, and others mourning the loss of, of someone who we're not going to see now walking among us, sharing some of her wisdom and discipline, I hear as well. But how are you feeling today? Mixed feelings. I'm, I'm just sad that we've lost the caliber of the woman she was. A person who was a parent to all of us, who could put all of us into order if things went wrong. But equally, I would like to celebrate her life because she was a great woman. We all of us uh, looked up to her as this leader. Not that she was without mistakes, she had her own mistakes, but you could. Uh, we were assured that it, she found it easy to recognize and acknowledge her mistakes. And I think that's what all of us have to take from Meruth. Hard work, speaking out against injustice, and speaking out uh, on behalf of the underdogs. That's who she was. That's who, this is who I've, I've, I've lived with. This is who has mothered many of us. This is who I will forever, whose memories I'll forever treasure. We'll have to leave it there. Our condolences to you and thank you so much for availing yourself at this point in time. Extremely emotional, as you can imagine. It is quite a chilly morning here today, but hearts are warm, full of fond memories, as you can imagine, of Omama Uruth. Also, the ANC Women's League speaking to us a little bit earlier. Uh, you saw Omama Nosivu Omapisangakula wearing that attire, saying that uh, they were unable to continue with the conference that was scheduled out of respect of Omama Uruth. They 
didn't want the two processes to run parallel. They wanted to devote all of their time and attention to this funeral because of the caliber of the woman that we speak about today. All right, now speaking of the chilly air and the warm atmosphere in here, it brings to mind the weather. Tieti, what can you tell us?